बट इन ऑर्डर टू गिव यू अ कम्प्लीट एग्जाम्पल द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ ट्रेडिशनल ए आई एंड जनरेटिव ए आई इज ट्रेडिशनल ए आई इज बेसिकली यूज टू मेक डिसीजन्स ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर अकॉर्डिंग टू द पर्टिकुलर इनपुट्स विद अ लिमिटेड सेट ऑफ डेटा जनरेटिव ए आई ऑन द अदर हैंड इज लाइक हेल्प्स यू क्रिएट कॉन्टेंट और हेल्प्स यू क्रिएट सम डेटा एंड हेल्प्स यू डू सम टास्क अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रॉम्स दैट यू गिव इट गिव टू इट एंड दैट्स टिपिकली वॉट इट इज एम आई करेक्ट Yes, you are. Would you like to add something into so it? So, like, the, basically, what you have said comprises of everything. The another way of saying it is like, a traditional AI uses a decision tree. So you give it a data set like you know these are some of the fraud fraudulent records. It basically learns the patterns from that. Like, if a particular person is belonging to this particular location, if he has done these kind of actions, if he has these kind of transactions, then probably he could be a fraudulent activity. He could be doing a fraudulent yeah. activity. Yeah. So that is so basically internally it creates a decision tree. If and else, if and else, if and else, else if, else if, else if, things like that. And then generative AI on the other hand learns from the uh, pattern and the relationship between the data and then generate new data, which we will be covering soon in our next topic. And when you say data, it's just not a, a random data. It can be literally anything. Anything. All right. Uh, now to, let's talk about the differences between traditional AI and generative AI based on two different reference points. So what it does is follows predetermined rules and patterns. Uh, traditional AI, generative AI creates new content and generates output. And by the way, this output looks like that there is a human who is very well uh, read or very well. Uh, I mean, very knowledgeable, very uh, very. I mean, very intelligent. Who is creating this output? So, like, let's say if you are, if you ask a graphic designer to create a certain uh, logo for your new business, right? And uh, what happens is, yeah. So there is a graphic designer who uh, who you want to create a new uh, logo for your for the new business that you are trying to create. An AI can do that, and the kind of AI that create that logo is going to be generative AI, right? Uh, similarly, if you, uh, I mean, if you if you really want a uh, everything, all right. uh yeah so if if you really want uh i mean an image to be created or some video to be created or some text to be created like if let's say uh, recently we were working on something let me tell you uh, with the hr department of syntax uh, we uh, were trying to figure out some things and i wanted uh, the kpis and the kras of the people who are working on some profiles to be re- redefined right and uh, we used a uh, chat gpt to do that and it did the job so well that even the hr manager or the people at the, like who have got really good experiences uh, would have taken at least like 6 to 8 hours in order to define it into that way and that brief that precise that accurate or something like that so that's all what a generative ai does and this and this is exactly why there is a buzz around ai and that's why we are covering this webinar All right. Let's talk about the operation that what traditional AI does. It 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 just performs the tasks for which it is trained for on the predefined logic. Then comes generative AI. It just learns the pattern, uh, learns patterns from uh, in order to create new data. So what happens is traditional AI is it's already trained. It does not it does not improve on itself, right? Whereas generative AI improves on itself. Whenever you are giving a new prompt, it's it is not only generating new data for you, but it is also training itself a little better than earlier using the data or the prompts that you have provided. So that's how it it works. Learning approach of both the AIs. And by the way, so you must be thinking that why are we talking about learning approach of AIs? AIs are nothing but just human replications, right? Uh, programmed into a computer. So learning approach is important because if an AI is not going to learn things to do on its own, it is nothing but another application or another software. So that's why we are covering learning approach. Learns from labeled data uh, for specific tasks, and uh, on, on the other hand, generative AI learns from data to create new content. So that's basically what the difference is. Human input requires explicit programming and rules. Uh, the, I mean, when it comes to traditional AI. and generative ai learns from data and generates the output innovation uh, replicates existing knowledge and patterns generative ai generates novel ideas art and content so i mean yeah it's just uh, i mean the outputs that generative ai can create are unpredictable for sure the outputs that the outputs that traditional ai can create is absolutely predictable based on the prior knowledge only so that's basically what uh, what what i i mean to say in here data dependency requires labeled data for supervised learning 
रिक्वायर्स लार्ज एंड डाइवर्स डेटा सेट्स एक्जैक्टली एज आई टॉक्ड अबाउट अर्लियर दैट ट्रेडिशनली आई वुड नॉट रिक्वायर मच ऑफ अ डेटा सेट इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रेन इट्स मॉडल बट जनरेटिव वे आई रियली डज बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट इट टू क्रिएट कॉन्टेंट ऑन इट्स ओन सो यू हैव टू ट्रेन इट रियली वेल एंड इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रेन एनी मॉडल रियली वेल यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ लार्ज डेटा सेट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट डू दैट पर्सनलाइजेशन लिमिटेड पर्सनलाइजेशन बेस्ड ऑन रूल्स अगैन ट्रेडिशनल ए आई जनरेटिव ए आई क्रिएट्स पर्सनलाइज कॉन्टेंट इन एक्सपीरियंस एवरी टाइम एंड एंड समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स ऑन जनरेटिव ए आई एज वेल दैट देर आर टू पीपल हु आर गिविंग द सेम इनपुट एंड दे बोथ आर गेटिंग डिफरेंट आउटपुट्स फ्रॉम द जनरेटिव ए आई सो दैट दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ जनरेटिव ए आई दैट एंड दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ ह्यूमन्स एज वेल दैट टू पीपल ऑफ सेम कैलिबर सेम स्किल सेट माइट नॉट हैव द सेम आउटपुट राइट बिकॉज वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट द सेम वनीला थिंग्स and that's exactly what generative ai can help you do that uh, that's exactly where generative ai can can help you real world examples expert systems and decision trees are are of course traditional ais uh, gans deep learning based image video generation ais are uh, i mean are uh, like in order to do all of these things generative ai uh, 